p.m. I am back here at Kennedy Station where I began um, part one of this challenge uh, when I did line two. I keep mixing up the lines. So today I'm doing line three, which is the Scarborough RT line. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to do all of line one, which is the Young University line. So today just 6.5 kilometers. Let's head on over to Lawrence East Station. That's like 2.1 kilometers away. Let's go. to pay homage to you, little gifts and tokens of their affection, all right here at the corner of Mike Myers Drive and Kennedy. All right, next stop is Ellesmere Station, 2.5 kilometers away. Let's do it. save it for another time or maybe never. All right, let's get this over with. actual track length. Uh, mine ended up being 8.63 kilometers, uh, an hour and 40 minutes. It's uh, like three something. Anyway, we're going to get on the Scarborough RT and we'll see what happens. So, talk to you soon. There are 58 kilometer per hour winds right now, so I decided to come home. I will have to do the entire 38 kilometers tomorrow. See you then. Good morning, it is Sunday, December 12th. Just enjoying that beautiful sunrise. I'm gonna have some breakfast and then we're gonna do this thing. I'm gonna start from my home and go south on the Young Line and then make my way back up the University Line, which means I'll still have the 9.6 kilometers between Finch and Davisville to do, hopefully today. We shall see. All right, it is 8.25, I am finally leaving. Uh, also, this is the race kit, which I received this week, but I'm not opening it until I finish the whole thing. So that's some motivation to finish today. 
Again, we shall see. Let's go. I am procrastinating. Let's go. I'm at the corner of Young and Jack's and I've discovered this piece of art I've never noticed before. It is such a nice day out. I am so happy to be at walking. I still have not passed an independent coffee shop, only like Tim Hortons and Aroma and Second Cup and Starbucks. So still on the hunt for an independent coffee shop. Yeah. Another new high rise that went up in no time at all just north of uh, Young and St. Clair, there's another um, block of shops that have been bought out and they are awaiting development for another, like a uh, residential high rise. Yeah. So all of this amid, I can't find a single independent, here's another Tim Hortons, I can't find a single independent coffee shop. I did see one earlier, but it was closed. Where will all these people go for coffee? I had to come inside the Hudson Bay Center for that picture because there's no sign outside as per my last video. And I think I'm gonna break down and get a Starbucks coffee. Corner of Young and Bluer. So this is Young and St. Mary Street. This building used to be the Church of Scientology. I guess that religion is not doing so well. Closed up. shops closed up seeing so many businesses out of business i don't know if that's a covid thing or what but it's shocking for downtown toronto So that, they just, they've maintained the facade of a building and gutted everything else. This is the University of Ryerson, which they are renaming, by the way. Here we are at Dundas Square. There's my favorite store, Adidas. Thank God it's closed, otherwise I'd probably be leaving with another pair of superstars. So yes, they are uh, renaming Ryerson because um, Mr. Egerton Ryerson was involved with the uh, residential schools. Um, so he is not someone we should be uh, celebrating. Um, oh yeah, and if you, so I have a, a video, I can't remember the number off the top of my head. Uh, I do like a bike ride around Toronto and I go by Ryerson and there used to be a statue of Mr. Ryerson um, outside there on Gould Street um, and he, he's like his hands are outstretched like this both both his hands are outstretched in front of him someone poured red paint all over his hands and I think they wrote land back I can't remember now uh, but that statue's gone now as well uh, but watch that video because that was a very um, interesting and 
awesome piece of graffiti. Yeah. An independent coffee shop. Let's stop in. All right, this is coffee number three of the day. I splurged and got an espresso macchiato, very unlikely. Yum. So I googled who is Adam Beck. He was the founder of Ontario Hydro. All right, that's worth a statue apparently. Um, I also googled uh, whether um, Scientology, you know, was it like declining in popularity or what? Like, cause maybe that building was closed down because they moved to a better building because they were doing really well. Um, but apparently a membership has declined. Okay. Anywho, I need to find a washroom. <laughs> four coffees, did I have four coffees? One at home, Starbucks, no, three coffees. I need a washroom. I'm walking backwards because the sun is behind me. Okay, it's gonna be a long video. So here we are at the corner of University and Bloor. Washroom time. The provincial flowers made of shoes, and that's the display at the Badashu Museum. I'll stop in here and have a look. I would have loved to buy that uh, typewriter, but when I asked how much it was, it's not for sale. It belongs to the dude who owns the shop or who owns all the books there or something. I don't know. Anyway, not for sale. I totally should have saved my appetite for this place. This is an icon in Toronto. Um, have been here many, many, many nights in my 20s after like going out to a club or something. Oh, I should have saved my appetite. Hello. Hello. 
So this is the owner. He is 86 years old now. And I was speaking with these gentlemen. And they think that this place has been here for 84 years. <laughs> All right, so the uncle, the older gentleman, I recognized Ray Ray, like he's been there for forever. Uh, so the business has been there for 65 years, according to him. Uh, yeah, so maybe when I'm done walking today, I'll go back there for dinner for steak and eggs. We shall see. Let's keep walking. just like a little bit north of St. Clair on Bathurst, which is the Virgin St. Clair West Station. This is 1524 Bathurst Street and this was my very first apartment in Toronto back in 1993. I, um, I actually finished high school here in Toronto at Vaughan Road Collegiate, just uh, in the area. Um, and yeah, that was my first apartment. I used to like just look out the window and on Sunday mornings I would see these like weird people. I kept seeing them every Sunday morning coming home like really early in the morning. They looked so weird. I'm like, I have to meet them. And it turned out so, okay, so that's my building. This is a little bit larger building right there. That's called the Daybet. Uh, that's where those people lived. It turned out to be DJ, uh, they were rave DJs. Uh, Yarko, Algorithm, and Dominic. So I ended up becoming friends with them and that's how I started going to raves. Uh, and that's how I, Anyway, lots of, that's how I got um, hooked up with Deep Space, the, the, the band I, I sang in for a short time. Uh, what else do I want to say about this place? It's the first, yeah, that was the first time I ever saw a cockroach. I freaked out. It was like midnight. Saw a cockroach in my apartment, called the landlord. Like, to me, that was an emergency. When I told the landlord, I'm like, ah, there's a cockroach in my apartment. They were like, uh, that's nice, like call back in the morning. <laughs> anyway, um, and another another story about that place. So uh, it was a two bedroom apartment, my name on the lease. So I had one roommate and another, like I had a few different roommates, um, but my half of the rent was 450. And at one point there were these pair of boots at uh, John Fluvog that I wanted to buy. They were $450, same as my rent. So I went to my landlord and I said, listen, like so naive. And I said, listen, I really want to buy these pair of boots. Can I not pay rent this month? Like you can use my last month's rent instead. And then when it comes to my last month, I'll just pay the rent. I really want to buy these boots. Like, I can't believe I even had the audacity to ask that question. Anyway, they said yes. So I bought the boots. Yeah, they were amazing, amazing boots. But it's more amazing that they said yes to that absurd question. Anywho, I think that's all for memory lane for now. This is going to be a really long video. I apologize. Oh, that is not the end of my walk down memory lane. So when I did go to high school at Bond Road Collegiate, I was flabbergasted to be in the same class as a gentleman named Seeluk who played Yik on, on um, Degrassi Junior High. So when I was younger, like when I was in grade school, elementary school, I loved that show so much. I remember uh, one summer around that time, I went to Canada's Wonderland and I saw one of the characters, one of the twins on that show at Canada's Wonderland and I was freaking out. So you can imagine how much I freaked out to find myself in the same class as one of the characters, Yik. And we did, uh, his real name is Seelak. And we did become, you know, friends for a little bit. Uh, anywho, okay, now that's the end. <laughs> Bathurst and Eglinton. It's a big mess. Uh, they're building the, uh, the Eglinton Archie. I bet you any money 
that happened during yesterday's windstorm. This was the trail that I took when I began my uh, bike ride from Toronto to Vancouver. Uh, not last summer, summer before, summer of 2020. By the way, about that bike ride, uh, the book about that ride, Look Mono Hands, that I wrote, uh, has been submitted to the publisher. It should be published by May. So, I will keep you informed about that. Um, hopefully, some of you will uh, purchase a copy. <laughs> Let's see if my good friend Tony is working. Nope, he's not working. But, Tony, I thought of you. <laughs> Actually, Tony went to Bond Road Collegiate with me. That's how I know Tony. <laughs> ah, my feet are getting a little sore. Not on the bottom, on the top. The way these leather boots fold on top, it's too tight. Anywho. I wasn't planning on stopping to eat, but here I am. Alright, I'm gonna have to take the rest of this to go with me. By the way, these napkins bug me. They're like basically useless. Anywho, let's get going. By the way, I would just like to say for the record that the way I'm eating today is so incredibly out of character. I don't buy any prepared foods. I don't buy takeout. I make all my own food. Um, I bring cutlery around with me. I, I never use plastic cutlery. So, very out of character, my eating behavior today. Just wanted to state that for the record. starts automatically honking when it senses someone or something is close to it. This is absolutely, I, I live in my own bubble. This seems like the definition of insanity to me. I would never come to this mall and it's certainly not on this day when the weather is so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't speak. When the weather is so beautiful. Anyway. front of the Wilson um, subway station and he was kind of walking around he goes oh I guess we're doing the same thing because um, he was taking his picture in front of this station and I said oh are you doing the TTC challenge and he's like yeah and I'm like oh cool so am I so that was neat uh, okay there's like an hour and a half left of sunlight so let's keep going definitely not very scenic It is 3.55 p.m. and there is less than an hour of sunlight left. Let's keep walking. Down 
Monster Youth Park. This is where SARS Fest was. I brought my little sister Nicole with me. She was 16 at the time and it just kept getting more full and more full. And I started to get so worried. I'm like, oh my God, we're all gonna die here. <laughs> anyway, we were all fine and it was an amazing concert. Uh, okay, it's quarter after four. Let's go. I did not know they were building an LRT up here as well. Oh my God. This is very cool. I've never seen this subway station before. Um, yeah, because when I went to York, 94 to 98, yeah, none of these, uh, the, the subway system at that time only went up to Wilson. Um, so then from there I had to get on a bus, which was a pain. So, anywho, yeah. Okay. Certainly has changed a lot around here. I barely recognize anything. Wow, students are so lucky. Like, so this I now finally recognize. Like, there's Very Hall. Yeah, they get dropped off right here. Nice. Vanier Lane, that was my residence. There it is, Vanier. Okay, I'm almost at Steele's there. This is very unusual. There's a grave here. Um, a Junior Manon. So I'm gonna have to look up and see. Probably some tragedy happened here. Turning around, I just thought I, I'm not doing it. Oh my god. Better safe than sorry. It's like I've said before, like when I was on my bike ride, I always felt more afraid in a big city than I did out in the wilderness. Um anyway, I just got like I just got freaked out there. So um, I'll have to finish these two stops. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take the subway to work tomorrow and then I'll walk from Finch to Davisville. And then on the next day, on the Tuesday, I'll, I'll drive up here and I'll do these last two, two stops. Like I said, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Mm. Just one more thing. Um, so obviously I'm disappointed that I didn't make it all the way to the end, but I'm not that upset because it's not because I'm, I feel great. I feel 100% fine. Zero pain, zero fatigue. I feel great. So I'm not disappointed. Like I could easily finish from a physical perspective, but not from a safety one. So, okay, time to go home. All right, so I am home, safe and sound. Um, so basically today, uh, I began my day at 8.34 from Davisville Station and I finished up at 5.32, so nine hour day, maybe two 15 minute stops, like when I ate. So a full day, I feel good. Um, yeah, I feel good about my decision to stop when I did as well. It's important that I set a good example as well. Um, so that's about it. So it looks like this, there'll be a third part to this, but I'll make it a short. So it'll be like under 10 minutes. Um, and then I've got some really exciting stuff planned for my winter break. Um, back out in nature with campfires 
and solitude and water and yeah. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing all kinds of adventures when I retire in 12 years and so 12 years and four months. 12 years and four months. See you in the next video. I forgot to mention one thing. <clears throat> of all the snapshots of me in front of um, the TTC signs, like the subway stations, one of them is not an actual subway station. Do you know which one it was? If you do, please don't type it in the comments. But if you want to email me at womaninthewoods13 at gmail.com, and the first person who emails me with the correct answer, I will mail you a signed copy of my book, Flip Flop Fantasy. So that's my little Christmas giveaway. <laughs> okay.